Hello everyone. I hope you guys are enjoying uh, videos and content. So today, uh, some of you guys have messaged me about uh, <clears throat> how to um, maintain the battery or winterize the bikes. I usually put fuel stabilizer in the tank, uh, put enough fuel in there so it doesn't, you know, rust or corrode. Or, you know, when I have to go outside to when the weather is nice, there's not uh, not snow on my driveway, I can just start it up. Um, and maybe ride around a couple of blocks and then come back in. Uh, yes, you know, uh, the BMW S1000 RK67 does have heated grips. That does help, but the Ducati does not. So um, yeah, I, I'd rather just, and both have different clutch setups. Uh, Ducati has the dry clutch, BMW has wet, wet clutch. So, yes, the application is a little different. Um, all right. So, the charger that I use is a SeaTech charger. I'll uh, put the link in the description if you want to buy this. This is specifically, this SeaTech charger is specifically for motorcycles. Motorcycle use, uh, life power. Uh, batteries or just lithium batteries and they need to be maintained so the battery uh, tenderizer uh, plug by default should be under your passenger uh, cover seat so you open this up I'm trying to do this one hand operation right what I have is another so I have a regular uh charging mount uh char charging uh adapter what i used is a ctec one attached to it which gives me battery status i'll also put the link in description for you guys who want to um see the battery status indicator right there um and it's kind of like tucked in right here with the toolkit so what i do is i open this up it's nice and secure and I plug in until you hear that click. Click is there, done. And you will see the status of the battery, charging status on the brick, all right? So I charged this battery two days ago. I know it's fully charged. I used the same charger, exact charger for the Ducati. But since the battery is up front right here, it's a thoroughbred race bike. So battery is over here. It's not under the seat. There's nothing under the seat except for the leftover portion of tank. So maybe fuel and exhaust. So the battery is over here and the tender, tenderizer battery um, charging cable port cable is right here. Uh, it doesn't get in the way if you tuck it nicely right over here um, yeah underneath this carbon piece is the battery and I attach the uh, charging cable right here I've put it over here it's uh, it's snug enough to not uh, you know come in between me and the the, um, the handlebars you know it doesn't it doesn't stop movement but it's there, you know. You can tuck it away, and when, when you have to charge it, you can, you know, open open these, uh, this lift this uh, red or carbon piece, whatever you have, and you can pull out the cable and then charge it. It's up to you. Um, so there, that's how I charge and when tries my bikes. I hope this helps you you and anyone who is basically in colder regions who want to maintain the battery charge so we left with two bars now there are three it's, it moves pretty fast now the other thing that i was going to say is i have another charger right here this is mainly for the agm batteries um yes it's a auto voltage direction but it normally doesn't work with it doesn't 
not normally it does not work with lithium batteries it only the reason i have this is for the honda over there um now i have another c tech charger which is a multi-charger so you see over here it does charge all sorts of b batteries for motorcycle cars agm uh, all you need to do is switch back through the modes i use this charger for the porsche so whenever i have to charge the battery maintain it i use that charger i'll also put the uh, link in description for this one actually i have the, the box so it's right here and it does come with nice five-year warranty all right a couple of vessels over here boat tractor rv um your trailer cars motorcycles let me know if you have any questions okay it's going pretty fast uh, i see th four bars all right if your battery is bad you'll see the service light over here if the battery is good you'll see the green light i hope you guys enjoy the video um i'll also post the link in description uh box for this attachment basically the battery um indicator battery status thank you guys for watching as always i love your comments and feedback and this is my uh battery charging routine or battery maintaining routine for the vehicles and the bikes that i have thank you